Well, hey everybody, it's Kembo Jones here with another episode of the Wonderful World of Baseball Cards. Uh, I wanted to do a real quick video today and feature uh, a few uh, pickups that I got from Nolan at, at Elite Co. 3. Uh, I hadn't uh, ever purchased anything from him before, but I've seen enough, enough of his videos to know that he has an eye for some pretty good stuff. Uh, this was just a short video. These came in last week. Uh, I was just kind of looking through his page, found some interesting cards, and uh, I just thought we'd get to it. So the first one that I picked up uh, was pretty fun. Um, I like this one. I haven't seen this card in a long, long time. I got the uh, 1990 Bowman uh, Ken Griffey Jr. It's a great looking card. This was super cheap, uh, surprisingly, and just a really, really nice looking card um, all around. A nice second year Griffey. Uh, good picture. I forgot. I really forgot about 1990 Bowman. Uh, these are really generally really good looking cards though. So I picked that one up. I uh, picked up uh, 1993 Ultra Manny Ramirez rookie. This is pretty fun. Um, I don't remember this card. I don't know if I had seen this card at all. Uh, but I just thought this was really fun. I love Manny. I hope he makes it into the Hall of Fame someday. Uh, these are just so so much good, uh, so much good stuff. Uh, 1993 Ultra Manny Ramirez, uh, fantastic card. Uh, and then I picked up uh, 90, 98 Finest uh, Randy Moss uh, rookie. Um, although I'm a huge Packers fan, I always had nothing but major respect for Randy Moss. And uh, grabbed this card. I thought this would be a nice uh, Moss to add to the collection. I was collecting football a little bit in 98. And uh, remember these finest cards. And this was a nice one to, uh, to pick up this uh, 98 finest Randy Moss. And then, folks, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. I, I, I broke one of my cardinal rules um, in that I generally don't buy from sellers who have a mix of uh, PSA and ungraded um, on, their on their eBay pages. Um, but I did pick up a few, some pretty nice stuff, um, but generally I feel like when there's cards that aren't, uh, uh, that are raw on a, on a uh, page that does a lot of PSA submissions that there's probably, they're probably not worthy of grading. And I'm okay with that, it's fine. These are just additions to my personal collection. Um, so these were some of the kind of the scraps uh, that I picked out uh, of the raw stuff. Uh, none of this is stuff that I've ever had, so it's kind of fun. I grabbed a 94 uh, Star Rookies, Alex Rodriguez. Pretty good looking card. It's shiny. Um, upper Deck. I really forget how much I miss Upper Deck. Um, but I grabbed an Alex Rodriguez 1994 Upper Deck Star Rookies. Um... I grabbed a 98 Fleer Woodson, Charles Woodson. Um, this is a great looking card, uh, but upon further inspection, um, there's like a big old scratch there, but it's still a really, really nice looking card. And Woodson was an amazing packer. And I love that draft class from 98. A uh, bunch of all timers in that class. So I got this. Uh, uh, Fleer uh, Charles Woodson. Um, I picked up a 2001 Upper Deck Star Rookies, Albert Pujols. It's a pretty good looking card. Um, I enjoy this one. I, this is the first Pujols rookie I've ever owned. So I picked up this uh, 2001 Pujols. And then I grabbed a 2007 Upper Deck um, Adrian Peterson uh, star rookie. Um, it's crazy that I bought two Vikings. I'm feeling a little traitorous, but uh, yeah, I, I picked that up as well. I just thought that was a great looking card, and it's nice to always have another Adrian Peterson rookie. So that is about it for the pickups from Elite Co. 3. Uh, pretty nice stuff. Um, pretty happy with all the cards. 
Um, and then I just want to do a quick uh, digression here at the end. Um, you see I've got the Topps Project 2020 cards out here, kind of on my little display tonight. I uh, got my first two last week. I'm waiting for some more. They're obviously trickling in really slowly, and just with all the mail delays, I think it's taking longer than expected. But I am fully uh, loving this project, and these cards are just like precious little gems to me and after starting to like study some of the artists um i have decided that i am going to get a complete run of the players um one card of each player from each different artist to make up a full 20 card set and after going through and seeing uh the first two or three samples from each artist i kind of looked and thought what i might like what I might, thought might fit for each card. So that's kind of how I'm going about it. I got it kind of mapped out how I'm going to do it. And then I'm also going to do um, the full 20 card runs for Sophia Chang. I really like her cards. Uh, Grotesque, which is a really interesting name. But he's got a really nice spin on his line of cards. And then um, uh, Blake Jamison. So I'm a little behind. I'm about three in the hole for each of them. Unfortunately, I almost got the Sophia Chang Gibson this weekend. And I almost picked up that Clemente from Grotesque that was out this weekend. I'm a little bummed I didn't get those. Um, but this is just a really, really neat project. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a custom frame and display and put the whole 20 cards set in. Um, a nice frame display. So it's going to be really neat and then I can have it with a representative sample of all artists and then I can swap it out and maybe do a whole run from one of the artists like Blake Jameson. And so I'm going to get a custom case made um, so I'm able to actually display it because I these are like pieces of art. They are prints, lithographs, whatever you want to consider them and it's just a fantastic project. There's a lot of cards that I'm going to have to pass on, um, but I figure when I'm done with it, there'll be a few that I got. I got that trout today, um, but I figure when I'm done with the Topps 2020 project, I'll probably have about 80 to 100 of the cards uh, from the 400 card set. So a quarter or less than a quarter of them probably. Um, it's just something I'm, I'm really digging it, looking into the artist's social media and stuff. Uh, their general fan, non-collector fans are really liking it too. So this is kind of a project that transcends the hobby. So everybody, good to see you. I'll be back soon. Keep collecting what you love and love what you collect. Peace out. Later.